Hey, what's up everybody? It's George here and we're back with another video. Now today's video is video number five in the Goblin 500 electronic setup series. In video number four, we finished up with parameter I, which was adjusting the cyclic servo directions. Now we're ready to move on with parameter J, which was teaching the cyclic pitch geometry. Before we begin, let's go ahead and take a quick look at my setup. First, I have the manual open to the right page, a pen in case I need to take any notes. I have my Spectrum DX8, and I have my Align Digital Pitch Gauge. We're going to be needing that for this parameter. And finally, the Goblin 500, and that's all we're going to be needing. So why don't we go ahead, put the camera on the tripod, and get on with parameter J. Okay, we're all set up. I have the blades parallel to the helicopter, which is what they should be. I have my pitch gauge installed, I leveled it out first, and we're ready to move on. Let me move the camera so you can take a look at the pitch gauge and the AR7200 as we move on. Okay, we can see that when I go into parameter J, I am at zero pitch which is something that you want to make sure that you are. If you're not, go back to step G and redo step G. So when you push the button and enter into parameter J, you are at zero pitch with the blades parallel to the helicopter. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my aileron stick to achieve six degrees of pitch. While I'm doing this, I want to watch my status indicator and make sure that it stays blue. A little tricky, but that's close enough. We can see that I'm at six degrees and the status indicator remains blue, that means I'm okay. If the status indicator was a different color, then you would have to go and change your horns, you'd have to drill new holes and make adjustments to change your throw. But we can see that mine is blue, we're at six degrees, it's looking good. We can press the setup button once to enter the next parameter. The next parameter is parameter K, or adjusting the collective pitch range. Now this is where you set your positive and negative pitch, and it's going to be up to you where you like yours. I like mine at plus 12 and minus 12. So to set it, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to move my pitch slider all the way up, and then I'm going to use my rudder to take it to 12. And that's close enough for me. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move my stick all the way down and I'm going to set it for negative 12. Once I have it close enough, I'm going to press the menu button to move on to the next selection and save this setting. Okay, we're on parameter L, and parameter L is adjusting the cyclic swash plate limit. Now what this parameter does is it allows us to get the maximum deflection out of the swash plate, but making sure that we don't have any mechanical binding. Let me go ahead and move the camera so that we can see both the swash plate and the AR7200 and we'll continue on. Okay, moving on. The first thing that we want to do is we want to move our pitch stick to its lowest position. Next, we want to use our cyclic stick and rotate to all of the extremes and make sure that it's not binding. At the same time, watching the blue light to make sure that it's staying blue. Now I've gone to all the extremes and the light has remained blue. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pitch stick and move it all the way to its maximum position. And I'm going to repeat the procedure with the cyclic stick, going to all extremes. Now 
and once again all extremes are okay there's no binding and the blue light remained lit that means that we're okay to go on to the next parameter by pressing the setup button once okay this looks like a good place to break we've made a lot of progress and everything is going along right according to plan Look for video number six in the Goblin 500 electronic setup series coming soon. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy flying, friends.